This is Brian Kirby from KirbyResearch.com. In this video, we'll talk about the convective term of the Navier-Stokes equations, and in particular, how it can be neglected for unidirectional incompressible flows. We're interested in the Navier-Stokes equations, and in particular, when we start looking for some of the simpler, earlier solutions to the Navier-Stokes equations, such as Couet or Poisson flow, we routinely ignore the convective term. Now the reason for this is because for unidirectional incompressible flows, u dot grad u is equal to zero. And another way of saying this is that the velocity vector u and the velocity gradient tensor grad u are orthogonal. Now we can think about this in a couple of different ways. First of all, we can think about this spatially in terms of orthogonality of vectors. And also we can take any specific case and we can evaluate u dot grad u specifically and show that it's equal to zero. In terms of the spatial orientation, it's more intuitive to think specifically in terms of vectors because we know that orthogonal vectors are oriented at 90 degrees with respect to each other. So we know, for example, that two, these two vectors are orthogonal. Their dot product is equal to 0. In particular, if we think of this in terms of some velocity vector u, we can then think of the different components of the gradient of u as being three different vectors. Specifically, we can think of the gradient of each of the different components of this velocity gradient tensor, or of this, uh, of this velocity vector. Now when we say that u dot grad u is equal to zero, what we're basically saying is that either this tensor is orthogonal to this vector, or that if we break it into chunks, the gradients of each of the different components of this velocity vector, which are in turn vectors themselves, are all, are all orthogonal to the velocity vector u. So that when we take that dot product, we end up with a, uh, a value of zero. Now, understanding this spatially is not really a proof that this is equal to zero, nor is it even an example. So as an example, we can consider one particular case. In this case, we have two flat plates, and we're assuming that there's flow moving in the x direction. We've defined our velocity vector u in terms of the three components u, v, and w. Now in general, in a Cartesian system, we can say that u dot grad u is given by a three component vector where these three terms are shown here listed in an array. For us to show that u dot grad u is equal to zero, we wanna show that each of these nine different terms are all equal to zero. Now if we assume that the flow is all moving in the x direction as we've specified, then that allows us to simplify the definition of the velocity vector u. Specifically, we can say that v and w are both equal to zero. And in fact, that makes a great simplification in the value of u dot grad u. If we look at every term that has a v or a w in it and say that that's equal to zero, in fact, we find that eight of these nine terms go away. and we're really only left with a u du, u du dx term. To then address the value of this u du dx term, we can consider conservation of mass. And in a Cartesian coordinate frame, this can be written as du dx plus dv dy plus dw dz is equal to zero. We specified before that v and w were equal to zero. And this then leaves us with the conclusion that du dx is equal to zero. And because du dx is equal to zero, we can say that this term is zero as well. So in this case, we've been able to show that all nine of these different terms are equal to zero, which means all of the three components of u dot grad u 
are zero. Therefore, the u.gradu result is the zero vector. And this applies for any coordinate frame and for any particular vector. In general, we can say that if the flow is unidirectional and incompressible, we can say that u dot grad u is equal to zero and that u and grad u are orthogonal to each other. The way this always plays out is that of these nine terms that we see on the right, eight of them are always neglected by the fact that we can assume that two components of the velocity vector are equal to zero and the ninth one is eliminated by conservation of mass.